Good morning from Southall Park in Ealing, West London. This is a pretty brand new event. It's the fourth event today. It's a three lapper paths and you'll be able to hear Bertie barking up in the distance. This park is dog friendly. There's no toilets, but car parking, green drive just over there. It's unrestricted, but of course there's limited depending on the spaces. So we've arrived nice and early. So I'm walking over to the start now and a little bit of information for you about Southall. According to Wikipedia, it has the largest Punjabi community outside of the Indian subcontinent and is known as Little India. Just gonna walk over and say hello to the event team. Start and finish area is very close to each other. There's a roundabout. So we're going to be going around about that. Bertie's seen a squirrel. And let's go and have a look around the park for you as well. quite cool it's an outdoor workout area and it's really clean it's really tidy got all the bikes and the Rotex machines everything then you've got this screen just here helping you and guiding you it's got a bit of music coming out of it too what a great idea weather wise it's a lot warmer than I was expecting it's about 9 10 11 degrees and I've been to Southall Park before about three years ago no four years ago as a matter of fact and I have seen this before it's a mosaic globe look at that it's lovely isn't it where are we where are we North America South America and there we go. Africa Europe oh around here-ish not quite very clear as to where the UK is. It is a cracking morning. Sunwise, it's looking beautiful, it's looking resplendent. It's a gorgeous looking inner city park. So there's no excuses, good morning, there's no excuses for any of us to go wrong, is that right? <laughs> laps one, two and three, yeah. and then the final lap to finish. Yeah, okay. We get to see a lot of the park a few times over, don't we? Yes, we do. One side you have a busy A road, the other side, a wonderful green space. My name is Tunde, I'm one of the volunteers here. It's a three lap cross, but it's got a small preamble at the beginning. So it's an anti clockwise preamble and then a three lap cross at, at the end.
Marshalls. Just hearing the chat about people saying it's their Nendi, I realised after I've done this, I'm lamb done again. Hooray! Thank you, Marshall. Good morning, Marshall. Thank you very much for marshalling this morning. Good morning. Sharp right, everybody. Sharp right. <laughs> Doing the job. Anyway, good morning. Thank you very much for volunteering. Yep, no worries. What's your name, may I ask? Oh, Bikram. Bikram, hello Bikram. Four events old, this event. Have you been here for all events? No, my very first time. Very first time, fantastic. Wow, yes, so I what am. you thinking of it so far? 200 people going around the park? No, it's it's wonderful. It's wonderful to see so many people, uh, actually in the south as well, yeah. and getting fitter, uh, great for the mental yeah, side mental as well. well being, and, yeah. yeah, after all the lockdowns. Superb. Right, well, huge, enormous thank you for giving us your time this morning. We're volunteering and welcome to the Parkrun family. Oh, pleased to be here. Thumbs up for Bikram, yes. See you in two laps time. Take care. Take care, fella. Being a three lapper, it means the faster people will come and get us. Because I'm taking my time going round on the first lap. And if I'm not mistaken, Tiny Steve and Tiny Bertie are just up there. So we're 13 minutes in. They've probably got another six minutes to go. Could this be Bertie's first finish at Park Run? Bertie's first, first finish potentially. Come on Bertie. It's not a race, but it'd be great if Bertie did. Grab the number one token with Steve. If you're watching and thinking, is this gonna be a fast course? Yes, it's flat, mostly path, or it's all path. Yeah, a bit windy, but it should really have an impact. Another one to add to your fastest park runs list. Guys, well done. I'm tired. I'm going to concentrate on the run so I can run a bit more efficiently rather than have my arm in the air. So the next thing you'll see is me coming to the finish, seeing a tick. Right, into the finish. Three laps done. Thank you, Marshall. Round we go. Up into the grass. The only grassy bit on the park run. <laughs> Thank you timers. Thank you guys. Oh. Hard work but grand work. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you very much tokens. Much appreciated. 75. Oh. Another one done. He's excited because he had his first ever first finish. Yeah. Stephen Bertie got his first ever first finish. Well done, are you pleased? Yes, he's very happy. Are you too noisy, Bertie? Too noisy. Yes, far too noisy. Well done, it's a good run. Can you hear me? I can't oh, goodness. Yeah. Right, yeah, so, well done, Tony Bertie. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Which three of you would like to do my scanning so? Yay, arms in the air, there you go. <laughs> there you go, got beaten to it. Sorry, it would help. I'm actually probably the most problematic scanner to do. I'm fiddling away with my camera. Well Thank, well done. Thank, you, Thank you very much you indeed. Oh, beautiful. Well Thank you very much indeed for scanning. Look at this. Thank you. Yep. Look how quick and efficient it is. Amazing, huh? Can I grab you for a few seconds, Jav? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. It's all right. How do you pronounce your surname? Sond. Sond. So, Jem, when you watch this video and the discussion that we had about pronouncing certain surnames, I was right. So, there you go. Anyway, but well, thank you very much this morning. How was it? All good so far? Yeah, it's all going well. It all seems to go well. Lots of happy people taking part. Yeah, so. lots of tourists and so yeah. on. Is your first time run directing? Yes. And have you done park runs before here? Yeah, so I've done a few at um, quite a few different locations. Okay, yeah, oh, touring? Okay. Always good to do at tours. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I've got, I've got about 52 different places. Oh wow, so you've got your cow, you have your 50, yeah, which is half of the cow. No. Yeah. Did you know that Chris Cowell is here? The, really? the, the, the Chris Cowell himself and his son, he's here, yes. The person who the uh, cow buff is named after everything, or you can see all the cow buffs over there, yeah. he's here. And if I can 
um, point him out to you, I will do. But no, he's he's here today, this morning. So you've had lots of famous people, PSH and Joe Sinton here last week, Helen Hood, you've got Chris Howell, it's all going on. So where is um, your pipe run before here then? Is it Gunners Bree? Yeah. Oh, North Island, okay. So it's not too far away. So. No. And that was quite nice because you used to get quite a few people coming down to that one as well. Yeah. You've got a lot of choices around here, haven't you? Spoiled. Spoiled in London. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Okay, fantastic. But I won't keep you much longer because I know you've got to do your, uh, your one director duties, but um, I will speak to you afterwards for the podcast. Speak to you later. Okay, cheers. Bye-bye. Well done, Tail. Well done. Gear us away. Super effort. Thank you very much for volunteering, guys. So event number four for those guys is nearly over. I now have to go and grab my phone because that's what I interview for the podcast on. Microphone on the iPhone. Just brilliant for it. It's better than some professional audio recorders. I've had much better luck with the phone than I have with the ones you've got to put on SD cards. Anyway, I won't bore you with technical stuff. The event is just fitted in perfectly. It's going brilliantly. The way they've put a course into here, it is quick. It's amazing. I mean, this park probably deserved a park run much sooner like many green spaces. And eventually, I always say that if a parkrun isn't somewhere just now, doesn't mean it won't be eventually. There have been amazing innovations in getting parkruns into various spaces, but this one is perfect for it. Now, the only thing I'd have to say, there's no toilets. There is a McDonald's down the road, so just be aware of that. And a cafe, they're working on getting a cafe, but there are locations relatively nearby you can pop along to. So once they've got the cafe culture sorted, this park event is gonna go from strength to strength. So just loved it. Absolutely fantastic. Well done guys, love your apricot t-shirt. Love it. Yeah. Super. I'd like a little chat with this lovely Marshall. So first time marshalling ever. Yes, it's first time marshalling ever. Brilliant, what's your name I ask? My name is Geeta. Hello, I've Geeta. seen marshalling and I've done other roles, but this is the first time I'm doing marshalling. I always wanted to, but then I choose the other roles of barcode and all that. So yeah. I'm really feeling very good, yeah. cheering up people and they're so happy. Yeah. And yeah. You, you're not giving, exchanging anything, but everything is so unconditional. Just, um, yeah, I love free, it. Just giving you time just yes. because. Yes. And the weather's half decent as well, isn't it? It's very shiny and blue skies, yes. isn't it? It's lovely. It's lovely. But first time marshalling, have you been to other park runs or just here? I have been to North Island Park. I'll say everyone North Island. Mm -hmm. Now, a little bit of a tip, I just got told by the tail walker, mm -hmm. there's no cafe here, but if you pop to North Alex, it's not very far away, is yes. it? You can kind of go to the cafe there. I might contemplate doing that. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, let's go back to the finish, shall we? Thank you. I cannot, cannot go without saying hello to this very, very special man. <laughs> hello, Chris. Hello. So, um, hello there. If you're not sure who this guy is, this is Chris Cowell. So are you tourists with that cow buff? Have you seen the cow cow buff? The cow club, this is the guy. This is the man, the very first person to do 100 different events. How's the touring going? Uh, it started up again this uh, this year. Okay. So we've done about five since middle school. Yeah. His son's just over there and he's uh, snuck back, so I think he's a bit camera shy. But yeah, he's not at the cow club yet. <laughs> no, he's 22 away. He was telling me his own son is on the way. So when you do get there, I can't wait to give it a shout out on the podcast. Um, but how did you find the park run this morning? Uh, Google Maps. I should have had more breakfast. <laughs> oh, right. So you're managing to stay here. I have run out of energy. Yeah. Yeah. I, I beat uh, 2020's best. Oh, oh so, wow. So okay. I'm quite pleased with that. Brilliant. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Oh, wait, are you going yeah, home now? or? Yeah, yeah. We're going to get back. Okay. We've only because it's parked to 10 o'clock. Right. Please, so. okay. Oh right, fair enough, okay. Well, give my love to Linda. I will. And Take care. Uh, nice to see you again. Likewise, I'll see you yeah, soon. I've seen you on the YouTube a few times. Yeah, well you see yourself on YouTube on the, Hi, this week. Anyway, you. take care. See you later, guys. I captured everything brilliantly, fantastically. Even look at the sunshine. Look, it's amazing. I got it. Wonderful park run. Thank you guys. What's that? What's that lovely thing? What's that lovely five inches in my hand, you say? <laughs> Your lovely gadget. Oh, my lovely gadget. Oh, sorry, I misheard you. Sorry. Thank you, Monica. So, yes, Monica's the event director here. Thank you, Monica. Hello. You've been on tokens this morning. How was it? Yeah, it was good. I think we were uh, out maybe, maybe by one or two, but it always happens yeah, okay, sometimes. Yeah. But... Didn't have any funnel duckers, did you? Did you have any? Funnel duckers. Oh. Have you not heard that term before? No, I haven't. Welcome to the funnel ducker term. <laughs> People who duck out the funnel. Oh. Uh, yes, we did actually. There you we go. We had that yeah. as well, and we had somebody who didn't want to take a token, but yeah, it's all talking now. <laughs> if only there was a video that explained the, the timing system. There you go, watch that. I'll pass it on to people so they can see how it works. Actually, I'm going to put a little card up there. Point them to this, point them to that video. You don't have a cafe just yet, that's on its way because you're still new, four events Absolutely, in. Absolutely, yeah. I got given a tip, North Isle Field isn't very far away. Yes, it isn't, it isn't. It's North Isle is a really great run as well. I've yeah. actually been there and volunteered with them. Yep. They're a great bunch of team as well. Um, but yeah, I think they um, do have, I think, some 
more facilities than us. Okay. But yeah, we are working on them though. Okay. We're going to try and get some kind of, because I don't know if you know Southall, but it doesn't open till about 10, 11 o'clock. So right. it's very different to other high streets around the country. Okay. Nobody really opens till much later. So we're trying to work on either speaking to a local cafe, and there is one or two actually that do open a little bit early, or maybe get some like uh, burger vans or stand people who would come into the park. Portable coffee vans, yes, yeah, frothy coffee people, absolutely. So there you go. If you are a frothy coffee person, I know of someone in the area, come along. Yeah, our business, you're missing out on business. Anyway, <laughs> right, thank you very much indeed for this morning. Time to speak to you again for the podcast. There's a kite just there. Checking out the park. That's pretty impressive in a city kite. How was that, Bikram? Was it good? Yeah. I have to be honest, I bodged the first recording with him on the corner. You won't know this until now, but I wasn't recording. I thought I was recording. I'd hit record accidentally and I started afterwards. I had to go back and Bikram kindly did it all again. So thank you very much indeed for that. No worries, with a lot of sharp rights. Yes, a lot, a lot of sharp rights. I'm stealing all your sharp rights. Thank you very much for that this thank morning. You. Cheers, fella. So it has been an absolutely crazy morning, a fantastic morning, a super social morning. Just brilliant, just brilliant all round. Bertie, Bertie's basking in the glory of becoming first finisher with Steve today. <laughs> first ever first finisher, it's amazing. And uh, how did you get on? Were you first lady? No, second. Second lady, so there you go, everyone's performing all round. But we're gonna make our way home very shortly. Libby has to go all the way back to Oxford. She's a very busy lady apparently. So did you have fun guys? Yes, brilliant, yeah, it's a lovely team. Your lovely team, super yeah, friendly, yeah, great, amazing. Uh, park. Yeah. yeah, just one another little gem in the middle of oh, London. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. wonderful. London, you and I, London, once yes. again. Yep. There you go, all the park runs done. Next week is going to be Portsmouth. Portsmouth, Great Sultans in Portsmouth. So looking forward to that. Are you going to see us, Libs, next week? Busy? Possibly. She's very busy. It's, it's super busy all the time. We keep being told she's busy. She's got the busiest job in the world. She's the busiest person ever. Oh. Well, there you go. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Take care. See you next week, Portsmouth.